Hello, this is Umbra from Umbra Shadow Gaming. I decided I'm going to do something a little different today. I've been thinking about it for a while. I've been playing a lot of Valheim. And Valheim has a lot of mods. And those mods, you can't find on Steam. So I thought it might be fun to take you guys through the simple steps on how to install mods using Nexus for Valheim. Maybe you guys get it. I don't know. I watched a couple videos before I finally figured it out. I find them kind of confusing. So hopefully this will help you guys understand it quicker than I did. It's pretty simple. Pretty easy to do. And there's a lot of cool mods. So um, also be careful though. Nexus is a third party. So pay attention to how many downloads it has. Because people could potentially put crap in there to mess with your computer. But generally, the mods that have a lot of subscribes and likes are pretty good. I myself have been experimenting with three different ones, and uh, I think it's been quite fun. So let's get into it, shall we? Here we go. What we're going to do is we are going to go to, for me, it's Chrome. For you guys, whatever web browser you decide to use. And we are going to type in Nexus. Nexus Mods comes up. I've already been searching for Valheim, as you can see up on top. Uh, my favorite mod, the mod that I think is pretty, pretty good, is um, Valheim Plus. In order to play this, you, in order to use these mods, you need something called um, Belpinix. And if you download Valheim Plus, it actually already comes pre-installed with Belpinix. So, um, what we do is, it says I downloaded it, obviously, but for us, we would click on View Mod Page. And then we would go to, there's two ways to do this. You can pay for it, which seems kind of pointless to me because these mods aren't all that big. Or you you can pay for it, and I, I don't know what you get for paying for it. And then you can do whatever. But um, you go to manual, manual download. And then it says you can upgrade. And you'll, right now it caps you at 2 megabytes, which... It's perfectly fine for these mods. They take very, very, very little time to install. Um, you kind of want to scroll down to figure out what kind of Valheim copy you have. This is Valheim Plus for Unix servers. I don't have that. This is Vortex. I don't know what Vortex is. This is Window Client, which is the one I downloaded. And I believe you also can download it if you have your own server and use the mods on that server. But you got to keep in mind, I believe everyone has to have those mods installed if they play on your server. I know me and my wife have been playing it, and I downloaded them, and then I had her join the game that we have together, and uh, it's a conflicting version. So, yeah, make sure that everyone has it downloaded, I think, is the best way to go about it. But we are going to go to manual download for the Windows client. All right, it says, oh, blah, 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 capped at 2 megabytes, whatever. Fast download, who cares? There's something all that, so we'll go to slow download. And that will download the Valheim Plus for us. And there it is. I need to make it so it doesn't automatically open it. But then what you do is you click up here on the top and you go to Extract All. And um, you're probably going to have to browse, honestly. You might end up in Program Files. But for me, I went to Program Files 86, to Steam, to Steam Apps, to Common, to Valheim. And then I hit select folder and um, I extract the files. Pretty simple. What on earth? Calculating 103 items. Did they do another one? Yeah, okay. See if I download it, so I'll just play replace the files in the destination. Easy, no big deal. I think that's the quickest way to go about it. And by doing that, if we go into my game, um, let's minus all this out. I don't need you anymore. Let's go into Valheim. If you've done this correctly, when you go into Valheim, it will give you a launcher. It will give you this whole thing. And it will say, both next preloaded. And it also lets you know if your mods are out of date. I just had to recently update this particular version. Did it just say, yeah, okay. Now it says update. Up here it said, warning, skid Valheim because a new version exists. Yes, I had, I had 
0 0.9.6, 9.7. But yeah, pretty much just minus out of it. Go to the game. It says it's running Bupinex. Bupinex gives you the version. I have three plugins loaded because I've had a couple different mods. And um, it tells you the version of the game and the Valheim Plus version. Then you just simply hit start game. And we'll start with my Umbra guy here. And my main character because we are Umbra from Umbra Shadow Gaming. This is me and my wife's server. I mean, it's not really a server, it's a single player that I can make a server, which is pretty easy. I just hit start server, type in the password. Let's go test for now. Hit start. Loading. This will let you know when you need updates. It will tell you in the statistics. Here's our little base. If you guys have been watching this series, I guess we probably haven't been this far because I've only done one episode, but um, it's not very impressive. I have a storage room essentially. And this, at one point, was a completed building. But my wife got a phone call and ran away from the trolls that were out here. Or, I guess it wasn't trolls, it was um, Grey Dwarfs. And the troll found her and saw her and then destroyed her house. So we're rebuilding. It didn't get anything too vital. I mean, this was just like a fire pit with a cauldron, and, you know, and a couple of chests with food and different things. But the nice thing about this game is, to my knowledge, if you lose it, whatever, no big deal. It just it just drops and you just pick it up again. So I got to rebuild it, and I'll get around to that. We haven't made it that far. We're just entering the Bronze Age right now. Got my crafting table with two of the three upgrades I know of currently. And then I got my forge. Mm, I can make bronze stuff. And then around the back, got some random wood piles. So I kind of like having that on in, in stock so I know where I am. And here I've got, what's this thing called? The kiln. Making me coal. And over here we have the smelter. I think it's pretty much a little coal. Yeah, it's got coal. I don't think it burns coal unless you're actually using it. That's cool. I throw my extra coal in here. Pretty simple. Okay, fun times. But enough of that. Let's exit out of the game and let's install a new mod that I want to install. Quit. Yes. Um, let's go search Valheim. And I'll pop up all the mods that they have. Valheim Plus, Valheim Unzipped, lots and lots and lots of stuff. I do want this though. I think the Valheim Recycle lets you disassemble crafted and upgrade item to get the base materials back. Which is good because in Valheim nothing ever disappears. So we can see down here it's 8 KBs, it's got 148 likes, and it's got 4.7 downloads. So probably pretty legit. So we're going to go here, we're going to go view mod page, and we're going to go to a manual download. And, um, of course, we want, all right, well, let's do that one. And go to manual download. This mod requires one. Oh, it needs unstripped. Well, some of these mods do say that you need more. That one, I guess I can't download at the moment. Um, multiple pages of mods. I actually don't know if there's another one of these I want to download. Uh, that might be pretty easy. Make the boars textured. Let me see. This one has got the 1.9 megabytes. It's got some likes and it's got 388 downloads. I kind of am a little leery about something that has that few downloads. And I think there's more mods than this, honestly. Because I found mods that don't, don't longer show up. And I guess there's not really a mod that I want. What I wanted to show you, I'm going to search for run. This is a mod that is no longer updated, but it's one that I, uh, I really enjoy. It no longer is getting updated, which is fine. But for this one, it's slightly different when you are um, downloading stuff tells me that I've downloaded it. You also click on requirements and it will tell you what's required for that particular mod. 
so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna this one's kind of weird because you actually got to go here by Chrome and you got to click here to download it and then same thing you would go manual download I don't need Belpinex thank you download um, I already have Belpinex I don't need it again but a lot of these mods do take bump and X so let's go slow download download is done all right this is slide differently you see how it says skill give more carry weight whatever so essentially what you got to do is you got to extract all like you usually would and you got to browse and of course you're gonna need to go into belt and this time and you're also then going to go into plugins it says nothing matches this for criteria but you do need to install it in there I can show you on this list. We go manually through the computer, we'll go to this PC. Then from there, I'm gonna go into my C drive. And from there, I'm gonna go programs A6, x86. And then from there, we're gonna go into Steam. And then from there, we're gonna go into Steam Apps. And then from there, we're gonna go into Common. And then from Common, we're gonna go into Valheim. And then from there, we're gonna go into Belpin X. And then we're gonna go into Plugins. I don't know why it installed a second set of Belfinix, but you can see here, um, that's where my skill give more carry weight is stored. If it's not stored there, um, it won't work. It will say you have plugins available, but it actually won't update. The best way to test it out is just go into your game and make sure what happened is happening. Well, that was very interesting. Um, what I did is instead of you know typing in Valheim, it gave me the mods and I hit all mods. I got a lot more mods to choose from this time and some of them are pretty good, I think. Maybe we got simpler cycling here. Planting Plus is one that my buddy that my buddy Magic uses. Let's see if I can do this simpler cycling. Let's go here. It's got a lot of likes. 41.3 downloads. View mod page. Um, requirements is Velpinix. So this one I can't download, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and manually download it because it sounds like it'd be pretty good. So and stuff in Valheim you never can get rid of. I threw a bunch of axes in the water and then you sit there and glow and you accidentally pick them up. Yes, Velpinix is installed. All right, slow download. All right, and then from here. We're going to go extract all. And we're going to browse Valheim. Let's go into Belpinix and plugins. Select folder. Extract. Pretty simple. And now what's going to happen is we're going to exit all this, exit this. We're going to go back into Valheim. And it will say preloader finished. And now it should say we have an extra plugin, which we'll be able to test out really, really quickly, which is nice. So much stuff. Yep, four plugins. Before, I think I had three. Let's go to start game. I'm going to start with Umbra. Again, I'm just going to go. I'm not going to open the server again. Back into it. Let's see if it actually worked. Because if it did, that would be awesome. Definitely check out all the mods. I think there's a lot of mods added to the game. I think Valheim Plus is one of the better mods. I haven't even actually figured out what it did. But I'm sure it does a lot. Because they have a big list of what it does. And... It's highly downloaded. Come on. All right, hanging out over here again. Let's go into the water and let's um pick up these axes. Now I have. Hmm. 
I have at least one extra axe. Hey, more coal. Run, dude, run. This is what, um, that skill, the first mod that I showed you, the run app. Um, you see that as you increase your run skill, your inventory space goes up as well. So you start your maximum in inventory space is 300. But since I've gained some levels in running, what's my running level? 15, it's almost increased by 100. So I can carry more weight, which makes sense because some of this stuff is really, really heavy, like copper when you go mine that. Holy crap, it's heavy. And anyway, let's go see if this new mod worked. It should. I hope it does. Let's see here. Workbench. Recycle. Awesome. Recycle. And then... Let's get all that stuff fixed. Recycle. Recycle. You get your original stuff back, which is cool. Let's also recycle that. I need to put it here. Interesting. You right click on it. Okay. You click on that kit, you click on the flint axe, and then you hit recycle, and I'll get the wood and the flint pack. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. Pretty easy to install those mods. And they can do a lot, add a lot to the game without making it, break without breaking the game. And then this also can recycle, so that's cool. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, let me know what you think down below. Yeah, there's a brief, kind of coverage of how to install mods if you guys have some favorite mods let me know if you found this helpful give me a like subscribe if you have questions i'll do my best to answer them and until next time for odin i release new content every tuesday thursday and saturday saturday is a vlog what am i saying saturday is a vlog no tuesday is a vlog Thursday and Saturday are video game videos. Um, I'll put links in the descriptions if you guys want to check out my other channel. If you want to see the equipment I'm using to record this, all sorts of good stuff in there. Um, also, make sure you're checking out Umber Shadow Gaming, seeing all the games I have there. Let me know if you like any of those games. If you have a favorite of those games that I've done recordings on. Hey, join my Discord, and then maybe we can play a game together. But with that said, I will talk to you guys later. Questions, comments are always welcome. Until next time. <laughs> Bye.